Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this brand new projector. It is done by a company called Ape Man and the model number on this is LC550. I want to mention that this projector is a 720p native resolution that has 4500 lux to it. All right, don't forget to click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and click the notification icon. This way you will be notified once we have a new video out. Plus, click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly for you. If you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. Already you can see that the box is really nicely designed. Doesn't have much markings on one side, but the other side do indicate that it is 720p. The contrast ratio is there too. It also talk about the 50,000 hours of light bulb. All right, so let's get this open. So first comes this big box. We have to open it. The accessories should be inside of this. And this is what you get inside of the box. So the first thing that we see is the RCA adapter. This part is the 3.5 jack that will go to the projector. And then you have the yellow for the video, white and red for the audio that will go to your VCR or video games. The next thing we got is the HDMI cable and also power wire this is not an adapter it is 110 volt but this part is not created for canada in the united states rather this is made for asia but we have an adapter that we can use so we can put this in a test and we also got a ir remote for the projector itself you can see that it's really nicely designed but it kind of reminds me of one of the android boxes i carried before and this is the same type of design you have to open the back to put the two AAA batteries inside of it. There you go. And the batteries are not included in the box, but you have all the functions that you really require on using it. Now, when we take the top out, you can see that it comes with a user manual. And inside of the user manual, there is a little information on how you can get some info and if you require help. But the user manual itself has everything that you require and it is in different languages on how you can connect it, what each button means, which we will cover in this video. Also going through it, it shows all the connections and there is some menus on the top that we will cover in a few seconds. And also what are you going to see on the screen? How are you going to be able to go inside of the menus? All right, the big moment is the actual projector itself. So let's take it out. All right, here's the big moment. So the projector itself sits inside of a plastic so here is the nice projector i really like that design it has little cuts in the bottom and we're just going to zoom in and show you guys and also has the name really nicely written right here and then the cap is right here and you have the ir sensor all right so let's capture everything and show you guys all right so you can see that how it has been designed on the right hand side so this is nice ventilation to it so that we can breathe right above it you have the headset jack so this we can connect your headphones or if you have speaker or surround system go ahead connect it to here and you will get a proper sound now right beside that is the av port now this is an intake so i'm just showing you right now how you're going to be able to connect your wire that came with it right beside that you have the micro sd slot which and you can put movies on it so you can play it right beside that you have two hdmi connections so that we can take advantage of two parts doesn't matter if it's your android box or it is your laptop or a blu-ray player or video game you will be able to connect it right beside that is your usb connection it is 2.0 if you have usb sticks that have movies on it or sounds on it you will be able to play it directly from this manage to put all the buttons in a nice design and also you have the same functions on this remote so that way you will be able to turn it on and off same thing on the top and also you have the menu button which is right over here and then you have the return key which is which i guess they call it exit or you have the 
favorite or the back button and also you have the source key and that way you're going to be able to change your source from one HDMI to another AV port that's going to help you out we will show you in a few seconds on this video another part is your navigation keys and you have the OK button so these are the LED lights once you turn it on you will be able to play with it all right, so you can see that everything sits properly on this projector. So here you go. This is a video that we got from YouTube, by the way. So you can see that the remote that I have is right here. And when we are trying to maneuver and try to press any buttons, even pointing it at the screen itself, it works. You see that? So you do not have to point it on the actual projector in order to get this going. So you have to press the source. Now you will be able to select your source properly. Beautiful. That's not the only thing. So we will go to HDMI 1. We select it. You can see that in the bottom part, it will tell you this is 1080p 50 hertz. I have to mention that the intake is up to 1080p, but when it's outburst from the projector to the screen itself is 720p native resolution. But again, if you want to compare this with a 1080p, there's not much of a difference. The only thing that I see in my eyes is the brightness. It is really good if it's in a dark room. And if you want to play this on a light room, it's not much, that much of a difference, but make sure that your lights are a little bit dim in order for you to get a vibrant color out of this. So here you go. This is how everything looks. Now let's go through some of the menus. So when we press the option key, this is what you should see. And now very, very nicely it is set up. I really like it that I see everything around it. And this is a pop up on top of the screen itself. And the first thing is the picture mode. So it is under standard, but you can change it to vivid or you can change it to user. And now you will be able to submit something like this. If you want me to give you the one that I am going to set up and use, it will be on our website. I'll take a picture of it and then I'll go to, I am going to post it. If you want to see it, ask at the bottom of the video, we will do that for you. Except that no pictures, just the settings. So here you go. Also the picture, uh, go back on the top and we will change that to the regular standard. Now going on the bottom, the color temperature right now is on medium. You can change it to cool. It will change it a little bit more blue medium is the best one right now so i will leave it there and then aspect ratio it says point to point that means it will capture whatever it shows and then it will broadcast it for you so that way it detects it itself you can also change it to panoramic and also you're going to change it just scan and this is also a really good one but the one that came in it is just it was just 16 by 9 basically and i'm just going to leave it on auto but it says point to point so that's why i'm going to leave it under noise reduction is always under middle we gonna we are going to leave it there now going under sound the settings now remember you have to press menu in order to go back to the menu sections here's sound we're going to leave it under regular standard and you can change it to be different but there's only one speaker there and it is very loud so go on under option itself you can see it that right now it is everything is there but if you want to change it so if you want to hook this up on your ceiling and you want to make it upside down this is how it's going to look and if you want to make it like a, a flip but it's from the rear uh, projection you can do that too and also same thing if you have this on the back of a nice screen and you want two people to sit in front of it to watch it you can do that too so that's a really cool thing and then going under time this is how you're going to be able to set up a timer so that way it can shut off by itself if you're falling asleep and you do not want it to run and use the all bulb light space itself while this have a 50,000 hours which is a long long time you can set up a timer which is a perfect thing to do and you can press menu to get out of it that was it for the menu itself so here is some sound test from the project itself so i will just turn on the sound Congratulations on your command. I've always been looking for you, Evie. Even if I'm a thousand miles away. Air escort to Greyhound. You will now be out of range of air cover for the next five days. Safe travels to England. How many crossings does this make? This is my first. 
I got some. Make the same mistake. You know what happens to you if you go through with this. I have everything I need to have you court martialed and dishonored and discharged. The end is inevitable, man. What are you going to do? Here they go! Over here! Over here! Your instructor is one of the finest pilots this program has ever produced. focus and also the keystone so it's very nice and smooth when you're trying to fix it again it's not one of the ones that will be wobbly really so you have to put your finger you gotta put a little force to it in order to move it so this is going to be on a focus because this is manual focus and also the keystone is about 15 degrees you can see that you cannot move it that much so beautiful that way you will be able to get this properly on the screen as I'm showing you right now now this is the sound test just with the fan noise sound test why would i betray you we all have our secrets we just didn't get to yours yet this is the test for how bright we can see it on the screen we have done a zoom test and you can see that the pixels are nicely mushed up when you go really near to the screen and going back out. It looks phenomenal. So this was our take on Ape Man's LC550. Links will be available we can order it from. Except that, I hope you guys like our video. If you like it, click the click the like button. Subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xdx.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.